four episodes left of season two and then we immediately go into season three everything is lined up perfectly scheduled and oh man i hear that there's no more setup episodes last episode was the final setup and there's a lot of cliffhangers different fights happening roswell versus ram and puck subaru has entered the mansion and saved petra just in time garfield and frederica versus elsa things are popping off and i expect every episode from here on out to be like just hype action, triumphant wins, only ups, just like the end of subjugation arc of the whale. Let's begin today's reaction. Alright, you gonna start me off with a fucking jump scare immediately? Alright, let's go. Garfield <laughs> Simpson. <laughs> Bro literally punched into a wall. But then he uses the fucking wall rock as a weapon. <laughs> we good? Quarter blood. Aneki. Subaru. Alright, Garfield versus Elsa. And... You know, remember that one break time episode with Elsa and Mary? And Mary was like biting on Elsa's neck, the nape. And somehow when they first met, like, that's how Mary like got her or something. Now it, it's Garfield versus Elsa. Bro, what if the final blow is a literal bite to the neck? Break time often hints and teases a lot of different things and foreshadows. I could definitely see that. No, not my queen. Not the face, Garfield, please! Leave her pretty face alone! <laughs> oh, she's so good. Alright, Frederica got Ren. Oh, Elsa Granhild. That's right. I love shit like this. Like, you can see me just nutting in episode 3 too. When, like, Elsa and Reinhardt did their introductions, right? Before the final clash. Like, something about, like, them, like, declaring what they are. Their titles and their name. As, like, a respect. Like, a sign of a respect between a duel is so hype. Yeah, the strongest shield. Let's go, Garfield. Now, I don't know if Elsa's gonna actually die, but let's say she does. <laughs> Girl feels stronger than Reinhardt confirmed. Reinhardt the fraud couldn't kill, finish off Elsa, but Garfield could if she dies. Man, the power skill is gonna go crazy with this one. <laughs> Not only that, you, you could fucking do more bullshit of like, yeah, the fraud Reinhardt had help from Emilia, Romji, Felt, and uh, Subaru. Uh, yeah, that's right. The fraud Reinhardt. Garfield did it by himself, bro. Don't forget about Puck, too. That's right. Okay, vehicle. Let's make a contract, Lolly. Mm. I am him. I'm the one. Look at that body action. Clenching the grimoire that she's been holding dear because it said one day he would show up. Maybe it's him, but she don't want to believe. Oh, yeah, she refuses to help. Yep. Because <laughs> Roswell hired. We're getting back, not really backstab, front stab by Roswell. Yes, you know. In his path, but we're changing that. We have our own path going. Now stop listening to the book. Yeah, my book is cooked. Yeah, my book is cooked. I got no patch updates ever since Echidna basically said he will show up. So Echidna is the one actually giving these patch updates, right? Like, and 
Roswell also? Because, like, I'm still assuming Echidna is the one with the true Tomb of Wisdom, and the two actual copies of it are slowly filled up by Echidna, is what I want to believe. Or, but, like, the craziest thing beyond is, like, how would Echidna know the exact details of the outside world when she doesn't even know that Regulus is, the, like, the Witch of, sorry, the Archbishop of Greed, right? She has no knowledge because she died 400 years ago. But maybe there's, like, a way beyond that because she herself has the Tomb of Wisdom. Don't know. Nothing. And that's the entire point. To choose your own path. To leave behind this fucking book that's already abandoned you. Why stick to this fraudulent script when you could make a contract with the lolly man Subaru himself and get out of here? Your mom sucks. That's for you to decide after you take my hand. Nah, that's the last thing you need. ベティが心が悪も色々なことを考えて悩んで信じられなくなる歌詞背中で記憶を寄せ集めてすがりたくなる夜だって何度もあったこわくて誰かと痛いと思ったことだってあったのよ。よいてく。Ryuzu last episode, remember to the backstory. Juice as well, and who knows countless many others. But hey, you have a person that's gonna, that's gonna literally take you out of here. <laughs> who decided that? This is so toxic, bro. This is so toxic. It's like, if she is the one that just did you this dirty and you're still clinging on to that little hope of like, and she wants, she's like happy. There's like, a, oh, Echidna hasn't forgotten about me. Ah, just, ugh, bro. It's like, you deserve better than this. My goat. Ever since he started doing this to like Amelia as well, like, I love this shit. He just fucking calls them out. Fuck, you're annoying. I'm tired of glazing. I'm tired of simping. I'm just gonna say it how it is. <laughs> True? Maybe. Yes, I suppose. I've drinking or spit, I suppose. Your mom's a fucking fraud. Confront the uncomfortable truth. Come on. Metaphorically, I don't think a kid is listening in on this. She can't. There's no possible way. That soundtrack synchro. Then break that shit. Make a contract with me. I don't know if it's possible to just break a contract like that without any like sort of like repercussions, but hey, I'm here. Mm -hmm. We learned that the last loop. The themes of Subaru breaking promises, while it's been like a recurring theme for sure, and it's somehow, it's bitten him in the ass before, this time, it's just like, he seems super base for breaking the promise, huh? Yeah, let's fucking break it. Yes, why not? Yes, nothing wrong with it. And that something is you, Bieko. That something is you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, now, this is the hard part. No, 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 no. Everything has been good up till now, right? But the hardest part now is like, Betty needs to be number one in our heart, right? I don't know how much of that actually matters. Like, if we must follow that to a law. But Betty last time was like, think of me only. Me, me, me. I need to be number one. Amelia and Rem got the fuck out of here. I need to be number one right now. <laughs> Beko. I love Amelia. <laughs> hit her. Hit her with that line, bro. Hit her with that line. I love Amelia right now. Ooh. Let him cook. Let him cook. Because I think I understand what he's trying to say. Because that person, you're still clinging on to this false prophecy. 
That person never existed. It was all a social experiment for you to figure out who it's going to be. Fuck that. None of that shit matters. Let's just choose our own destiny. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious, actually, bro. <laughs> she, she, she's like, nah, get the fuck out. She, she, there's no hesitation there, bro. <laughs> what kind of face was she making there, bro? Oh, come on, show me it. All right, I don't know, I don't know. She, it, it, that, that part like felt funny to me. That, 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 that was like more funny than sad. She's gonna hide herself now. Yo. Uh oh, matey. The guilty low is it? Is that a big witch fiend? <laughs> Frederica's coming, but he didn't. <laughs> what about Otto, bro? <laughs> yeah, I guess Petra's more vulnerable here than Otto. Federica. What about Otto? Otto? Alright, she got Otto. Nice. Ram 2. Perfect. <laughs> there goes Otto. Poor Otto, bro. Use as a comedic relief right now. I'm sorry, Otto. You look a doormat. Women, children, elderly men. And then Otto is not even part of a man. Otto is like beneath a man. God damn. Because Otto is best girl. More evidence. More evidence that Otto truly is best girl of ReZero. Ram. Wake up. Ohio. Wakey, wakey. Arise. What witch fiend is this? Oh, it's a giant hippo. Shit. Okay, this is the one where the barrier crystal rock wasn't working. I wonder if it's surely be simply because it's like a big witch fiend or because Melee is the one controlling it. But all right, not guilty, low. The gas boy. There she is. Oh, she's on top of it. I've seen you before. Is it hinted that last time Mady is the one that like ate Petra? She chomped her? Cause like it was implied that she killed her. Probably through a witch fiend, but do you think that like she's the one that actually like chomped her? I, I don't know. <laughs> Petra, funny. Oh wow, I'm afraid still. Can I, can I go? Please leave me alone. I appreciate it. I'm actually very impressed and appreciating of what you just did. Rem? Never mind. All right, Frederica, throw some hands. Frederica, death flags? But this time, run for your life. Aww. I will not lose. This angle is crazy, too. <laughs> Just good googly moogly. Jeez. What's in there? Just hiding out? <laughs> I just feel like someone like Mady shouldn't die here. Like, I don't know. I, we need to, I, honestly, I want Elsa and Mady to both be on our side. Like, both to, like, join our camp. I'm not sure if it's possible with Elsa. I, neither with Mady, but because, like, Mady's powers, like, a theory that I've been thinking about is, like, a combo attack with Mady and Subaru. Because Subaru can use, like, an AoE taunt and attract Witch Fiends by spiking his Miasma. Mady can supposedly control the Witch Fiends. I don't know exactly the limitations, right? And a person like this power is extremely rare. And since, like, we're also fighting, I don't think she can control the Whale, the Great Rabbit, or, like, the Black Serpent. That'd be a little bit too much, but I feel like there's some sort of combo play between Subaru's powers and Mady's that would be so just 
great. That hippo is thick. All right. Rock pick. I don't know if this is true, but I hear that in the Animal Kingdom. You might not think of it, but a hippo is one of the most deadliest creatures. Most powerful and deadliest creature. I'm not going to say it's like, I don't know, a lion versus a hippo. Like, like, I don't know. But I've heard that like hippos are chill until you make them fucking mad. And there's no getting away. They're like the deadliest if you make them pissed off. <laughs> Henshin. Partial. I wanted her to henshin and take her clothes off. But this is all we're going to get. Wah wah. <laughs> What's gonna happen? We'll use that. There's an escape route. Oh, okay. The bats. Kill Kilo. It just snacks in the bats. Like, why are there always bats hanging around with the guilty low, man? It's straight up just eating the bat. The barrier doesn't work on him. All right. Oh, this line again. This is from last episode. And I was actually thinking about last night about how, like, maybe the only meaning of it was my teacher and I who started it, meaning like the creation of the sanctuary, the sanctuary project, Roswell A. Mathers, you know, Ryuzu being the core, my Biko being there, and Echidna, right? It was all their plan from the beginning. Trial two. I guess that line is like so important that they decided to literally do a recap of that line. Present. And then future. Present, like, I mean, we know what the present is like, but. Fortuna? Sugoku. Matching hair clips. Twisted how she's here and, you know, in the present. We're hanging out. Makes me sad. Like, what about Juice? Is Juice also here too? As, like, mom and dad? Br br bring the leggings back. <laughs> I'm not a fan of this new Fortuna design. <laughs> L clothes, bro. She got a downgrade. This is a fucking nerf, bro. Where's my. What is the fucking trial one fortune I have, bro? Them cheeks are hidden, bro. I can't believe this. The mirror. Huh? What? I forget. There was something mentioned about Amelia and mirrors. How in the past, like, she never had a mirror or some shit. And she never wanted to. She didn't want to be reminded of herself. And the qualities that's, like, discriminatory. Am I crazy? I, I remember through some kind of cut content. Something about, like, the mirrors and Amelia and the complex that she has. She's never seen a reflection. She's never seen a reflection. Amelia's a vampire. Because vampires aren't shown in mirrors. <laughs> no, no, no. Have we seen her shadow, though? Her shadow exists, though, right? <laughs> no, that's a stupid theory. Juice. Oh, this is twisted. Juice. Mom and Dad. Oh, look at that hat. They're going to picnic? Oh, okay. I would rather have this than to not have it, right? It just kind of hurts because like what happened. But, you know, it, it's, it's an unthinkable present. Truly, this is an unthinkable present. Sure, give me a picnic. Aw, new drip? Yeah. Yeah. Juice. Say what we're all thinking, bro. Say that her dress fucking sucks and we want her leggings back. Come on, you don't believe that? Come on, man. <laughs> she fucking pissed off. She walking like a fucking angry child, bro. Don't belittle me. I'm not a child. Yes, she is. 
Other elves. Who the hell are these elves, bro? God damn. Side character elves we're never gonna see again, but their designs. Hey, what's going on, ladies? <laughs> Damn. Juice really doesn't get it, huh? Juice has a hard time figuring out Fortuna, but I feel like that's the entire point of like unintentional Riz, and he's not aware how Fortuna's feeling. And Fortuna's like, God damn it, you're fucking not really mocking me, but the way I feel, I'm kind of embarrassed by it. Whoa. Where is this? In the earlier forest somewhere. <laughs> Technically, this is the unseen, slightly past, and not complete present. Ooh. Very subtle, Fortuna. But he's too busy. But church duties? Ooh, in sync. Yup. Being the guardian. Rumors. Oh! They mentioned Aunt Tanze, so I guess in the light novel, like, those elves that we saw actually do matter. There's some lore there. Fortuna got it, but Juice didn't because he could not possibly ever think that he is like worthy of something like that, I guess. Yeah, you won't with your crazy fucking ice powers that we saw against Pandora. You. <laughs> now, is this the byproduct of present Amelia who's gotten post buff by the kiss and has supers personally rubbed off that is going back in time and is now in this Amelia? Are we watching this or is she in this? You know, is this like Subaru's trial where he himself is doing shit? Or are we watching from a distance? I don't know. I'm wondering if like the personality trait difference here of like Fortune is saying, where did you learn all this shit from? Maybe none of that shit matters. Uh, the tear. Uh, maybe the tear is answering my question of like, this is the Amelia that, you know, is present that has, you know, progressed a lot. And now she realizes that this can't be the reality. So she turns around. I don't know. Uh, Brother, purple eyes. Brother, purple eyes. Ah, unfortunate. I was trying to do some fucking eye theory. No, 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 no. What about Archie though? No, I don't. People say people. Some, some people think that Archie could be Puck, but I, I don't think so. I don't think so. Because Fortuna is the real mother. That's right, guys. Fortuna is the real fucking mother, and we've been lied to. No, I can't check Minerva's eyes, but that's not the dad. We're trying to think about dad candidates. I think she's passed the trial, right? Right? These are tears of like happiness and joy, but also sentimental value because this is not the reality, but it, it hurts that this isn't real, but she's happy regardless. Alright. Also, Echidna is not in this trial today. I guess he's tired. Yeah. Green eyes. Is Archie a shipper? Archie ships them? Mmm. get it on. <laughs> yeah. The pin that she took from Fortuna. Trial shit. Trial shit. And if we were to want to live here, 
then I guess that's like failing it because the unthinkable present is like a reality that's too good to be true, but that's why, right? It, it, it's it's not real, and I must acknowledge that and move forward. Of course, I'd love to. Always alive, all right. Well, the people of the forest have turned to ice statue. Yeah, that's what we did. But it's not reality. Admirable person. And Archie. That's right. He cut his leg off and froze it, not because he knew that he could warn off the the poison, the black serpent, but to slow the process down and to smile and not make Amelia know that he's cooked. <laughs> she really got fucking groomed, bro, to believe this shit. Like Puck, who always protected me 9 to 5. Motherfucker works his 8 hour shift and he's gone. And never left me alone. Are we talking about the same dad here? Are we, are we talking about the same fucking cat, bro? That's right, 9 to 5 with 200 vacation days. He fucking maximizing his sick days. He fucking maximizing his all of his that ho like holiday days until the and, and before he broke the contract. He, he straight up just used all of the fucking vacation days and the sick days left in the fiscal year before the contract ran out. So that when he broke the contract, he's like, all right, I'm fucking gone, bet. Let's go, Ram Blaze. Otto mentioned. Otto mentioned. Let's go. Kizudarake de Okay, the one thing that's pissing me off in this frame is Archie's left ear. How is this so un like not symmetrical with this here? Something about this just looks fucking wonky over here. Mm-hmm. Figuratively, metaphorically, big bro. Now imagine Amelia actually has a secret like older brother or some shit. That'd be fucking crazy. But no, again, these are just like metaphorical like extensions of her family, right? Her mom, her dad, who the fuck knows where they are. But Juice, Fortuna, mom, dad, Archie, big bro, what a nice family. You know, I'm not so against the theory that Subaru <laughs> being related to Amelia, the theory. I enjoy that theory. All that shit happened with the mean eyes, right? The mean eyes fucking trait, Fortuna's side, right? And then Subaru's mom also having mean eyes. Like, ever since then, in my brain, I truly trembled. And I'm like, where are we going with this? Oh, there she is. Does that mean Echidna was phasing through Archie and talking all that shit? I never really understood that. Was Echidna Frederica in Garfield's trial? Like, I, or are they just like, just these beings that are speaking out of their ass some sort of AI system, NPCs that are aware that it's a trial and knows all about Amelia. I don't know, but I'm going to assume that it's separate. But it's funny to think that Echidna is like role-playing as Archie back there. Just, <laughs> I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Number one hater. But I think it goes beyond just hating, right? These tears are confusing. Like, I know she has a deep hatred for Amelia, but like, she hates Satala, she hates Amelia. But like, I feel like there's something deeper here, rather than her just fucking hating. These tears, I just hate you so much. It can't be just because she got cucked. It can't be just because Amelia's doing better. I don't know why, but looking at her face, it just doesn't feel right. <laughs> That is very interesting, huh? Akinda's tears there again. It's it can't be just because of hating. The mirror, her reflection. Oh, I forgot about that, bro. 
I forgot about how in Frozen Bond she looked at herself in the water. <laughs> Come on, Miklotov. Miklotov, fucking do something, bro. Uh, apparently, this is the true ruler of Lugunika right now. While we have the absence of a monarch, Miklotov, one of the greatest, like, wise men of the council, he's like the decision makers for this kingdom. The guy with the huge uh, eyebrows, Bordo or some shit. What is this guy? Is he part of the um, uh, Wise Men Sage Council or is he some something else? But like these two, they're pretty significant people, right? And there was um, some crazy shit. With, <laughs> with Fortuna existing, sorry, with, with, with Pandora existing, what if... What if the, the plague, the virus that took out the royal family is a lie? You know? And like there, there's shit like that people, like I, I think is crazy. Some people are talking about. And then the other shit is Theresia von Austria. Theresia von Austria, her death during the last subjugation. Like if Pandora was present, is it not possible that like, like everything, again, question fucking everything, right? Question every, every historical detail. The previous source saint's apparently dead. But what if she isn't, you know? Like, like all these past events, maybe even the fucking, like, and, and then I think about like the demi-human war, right? I think about the demi-human race war. What if Pandora was the instigator? I mean, I don't think you can just fucking make up a world like that, but like, I could totally believe that she's like the instigator for some shit. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of like different events that happen in history. And then if we go all the way back to the Calamity, I definitely believe that Satala was gaslit and manipulated by Pandora and then was turned into the Witch of Envy and just raised the world. And that was all Pandora's just puppeteering plan. A lot? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> it's it's Amelia's episode seven, season one, bro. <laughs> Fucking straight bent playing. Let's go. <laughs> ah, that's pretty cool, huh? Because she's always like been a terrified of her like own person, like looks, the reflection of herself. Because you know. Which evil, but diving in slow motion frame. Hey, look at that. I'm not so bad after all. Apparently, you got the eyes. All right, trial two done. Wait, the Margaret wasn't the verge of death? Oh, <laughs> Roswell, when he fucking went in first and he. Intentionally cooked himself, but yes, the people are happy. Let's go EMT. <laughs> yeah, if, if the Margrave just got collapsed doing this shit, but Amelia can do it. Wow, we have faith in Amelia. They obviously don't know any of the details, but EMT, EMT. <laughs> they, they should all, dude. What if they start doing some fucking doing shit? Like, it's, it's, it'd be so funny if these people just became like, like fucking, like zealots, like cultist zealots. So like, Lisa Nagaib, Lisa Nagaib. They're just on their fucking knees. EMT, EMT, bro. Like, do some of that shit. Oh, the chosen one. EMT, deliver us to paradise. One more. One more. Yeah, you can get out. Yeah. Nah. The people will not let go. The people are believers, bro. They see the Messiah in front of them. The person that will deliver them to paradise. They will stay and watch your... Just, they will witness your glory. <laughs> Acting skills. 10 out of 10. Yeah. Let's go. Ryuzu! And the demi humans! Oh. And I think these are the anti liberation fronts, right? Before, the, these are the people that did not want to leave because they were afraid of the outside world. But now, even them, they're 
being united under Amelia. Yeah. Man. I'm actually getting fucking goosebumps, bro. This is, this, is, this is actually such a great moment, bro. This is an insane moment for Amelia. People are uniting against, like under Amelia. People believe. They're no longer self-doubting. People of their own volition are banding together and cheering for this girl. Like, this truly is like the beginning of the rise of Amelia. This is it. ファイ。こちらの村の方々、うちと葬儀化されてようやくわしらも思い私たちは正直心を決めかねていました。あの頑張りやがどんなして俺は自分が情けない。Look at that, bro. Garfield is coming in clutch like that too. It's great. Yeah, E14. それでもあんな風に。ご立派だ。this soundtrack is beautiful, man. This moment is actually so good. Please let us bear a witness. This is actually like... I don't know about you guys, but this is also a power fantasy moment. Like, there's not, there's not crazy Reinhardt using his fucking sword attack to demolish Elsa. But like, a bunch of believers that's, that had no faith, that's turned around, that sees potential in this being called Amelia, and they're believing. Let us bear a witness. To the rise of Amelia right now. This is fucking amazing. They just need to start fucking bowing and chanting EMT if he comes out, bro. わかりました。きっと無事に話をしましょう。はい。約束します。必ず。真面目すぎる。途中で私から俺の恥じゃ。うわ、ってもうさ、ask <laughs> 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 Ryuza did not believe in any of the demi-humans. Alright, which one's the best vocal one here? Alright, you come over here. I'm gonna teach you how to fucking talk to Amelia. Alright, that was like a 7.5 out of 10. You did alright though. That's right, Loli Baba. Who wouldn't be surprised? He's so tiny. <laughs> Look at that, man. She got fucking jokes on top of it too. Obviously, she has no clue, but she got fucking jokes unintentionally. People are laughing. This is great. <laughs> Hopefully, it's easy. The future, who will that be? Like, I don't see them showing us the future. <laughs> I feel like if anything, they're gonna off-screen the fucking third trial, bro. Yeah, they're fighting right now, bro. They off-screen this fight too. This is so troll. This, you fuckers. How are you off-screen this fight right now? This is such a hype fight. You fucking off-screened it in memory, Snow. How are you doing this again to me? Ugh. Let's go, my queen. Good luck. Deliver us to paradise. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I don't know about you, but that whole scene there, this is fucking peak. Like, it, it might not be the most exciting type of, like, quote-unquote power fantasy, but for me to see a bunch of non-believers start to fucking start believing, have hope and faith... As they cheer on to their potential queen. Like, that is unfucking real development. And it sets the stage for such a grand scale. This is like one of the best moments of season two for me. This shit is unironically one of the best moments of season two, man. I have a bias, though. I, I have like a very specific bias for like these kind of storytelling of like a messiah, a prophecy non-believers starting to believe, becoming like cult-like fucking, like, zealots. That's why I love Dune so much. That's, like, the whole Lisa Nargaib shit, like, oh, it just, like, gives me fucking goosebumps. <laughs> Unthinkable future time? <laughs> no. 
It's faced the disaster that is yet to come. Oh, woman, what kind of disaster is coming for us? <laughs> okay. Oh, of course. You're, gonna, you're not going to fucking show me. Of course you're not going to fucking show me. And the title is called Happiness Reflected on the Water Surface. The water surface being the water surface that Emil looked herself into. Seeing the reflection of herself and being happy. Moving on. Closure. That is today's episode. post credit scene? post credit po 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 Nah. No post credit episode, man. <sighs> it is what it is. Today's episode, pretty good. Pretty triumphant. Yes, as a kid, that would say 10 out of 10 episode. Maybe even 15 out of 10 episode. The one L, right, <laughs> is Biko just kicking us out. <laughs> That shit was hilarious to me. And Super was like, what? I'm not him. <laughs> Super was about to cook. Super was about to cook and explain, even though I am not him, we can still make a contract and get you out. We don't need to follow that prophecy, right? That that, that book is bullshit. I'm sure that's what fucking <laughs> Super was trying to say, but Pico didn't listen. Frame one just, <laughs> just fucking kicked out. <laughs> he didn't have time to yap. So it is what it is. Garfield versus Elsa. I just hope that this beautiful woman's face won't be damaged more. But again, like, I think one of the funniest ways that Elsa could die is either have her gut also be open because, you know, she's a bowel hunter or the foreshadowing in break time would maybe bit Elsa's nape, the neck. So, like, maybe Garfield could do that with his teeth. I think that definitely could happen seeing as Garfield has very strong teeth, right? Frederica versus Big Hippo thing. Who knows how that's going to work? And we're headed to Roswell's office because there's like a secret exit there. Now, the unthinkable present. It was sad, right? It's just like this is the family that we could have had. But it's fine. Even if this didn't happen, we can cherish the memories and move forward. And the reflection that Amelia sees in the water. She's no longer scared of it. She's, it's, this is like amazing. What's the word? Is this symbolism? It's, it's like a way of showing how she's confronting how she used to be like shying away from a reflection. She didn't, she didn't like how she looked, but now she's like, you know what? Look at that. I don't really look like Fortuna, but goddamn, it's the happiness reflected on the surface. And then this part, like one of the best parts of Reezer season two. Like, I'm not joking. I'm being very serious right now. I have a personal bias against non-believers turning into fucking crazed zealots, just worshiping a messiah. Stuff like this gets me unbelievably hype. Everyone is having faith in Amelia. Amelia herself has enough development where she is truly looking like a candidate for the fucking throne. And if this all get, gets settled, bro, the rise of Amelia, Amelia's camp is looking fucking nasty. I just hope they're going to show us the Puck versus Puck and Ram versus the Roswell fight. But hey, that's it for me. If you're still here and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.